Hey, Dr. C here. Hope you're having a good day. We're going to do today a little bit more on posture for the elderly. Okay, what sort of problems do we have with posture? We're going to go through each one and show you the exercises that you need. First of all, we got to warm up. Damn cold out there, you know, that wind is blowing. So uh, we got to warm up first. I always start warming up the back. I love to warm up my back because I get stiff every morning. Well, first thing we're going to do, come a little forward on a chair, feet flat on the floor, about chair width apart. We're going to come forward with the back nice and straight. Forward. All the way back. One side. Two sides. Forward. Back. One side. Two sides. One more time. We're coming forward. Back. One side other side. Now we can make that into one fluid motion now. Forward, side, all the way around. Forward, side, all the way around. One more time. All the way around. And now we're going opposite direction. Forward, other side. Back and down around. Two. All the way around. Three. That's a great back exercise. Another good one that's very simple is cat dog. Now the cat dog, you round your back, chin to the chest, that's the cat, the rounded back, and then pull the back in. The dog. Round it. Pull it in. One more time. We're going to round it and pull it in. Okay. Out with the arms. Out with the feet about chair width apart. Bring those arms straight up. We're going to do a sun salutation. Even though I didn't see the damn sun today. Front of the shins and look straight ahead. Back again. Out. All the way up. And prayer position. One more, sun salutation, out with the arms. They come up. All the way down and around. Hands to the back of the calves. Front of the shins look straight ahead. Back of the calves again. Out with the arms. All the way up. And prayer position. Now we're going to do a moon salutation. Palms facing forward. Pulls those shoulders right back where they should be. Separate your feet a little further than the chair apart. Now we go to an X. We're going to take that right hand to the right ankle and the left arm straight in the air. Back to that X again. They call this a star. Falling star. Left hand to the left ankle. Right arm in the air. Back to that star again. Now we're going to take that right hand to the left ankle. And the left arm in the air. Star again. Left hand to the right ankle. Right arm in the air. 
back up again, goal post, in and down. Next one, <coughs> we're going to do our swimming, overhand strokes. I love swimming exercises. Actually, swimming is great. Three, four, five. Now we're going to backstroke. One, two, three, four, five. And now breaststroke, one, two, three, four, five. Now arms out to the side, let's do our circles. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Reversed, one, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one. In the front and back. Two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's get our legs. First, we're just going to go on a little walk. Little walk. Two way walk. First, legs out straight. Only going to do this for about 30 seconds. Oh, it seems like only short time, 30 seconds, but it isn't. It isn't. And now the second type of walk. Up and down, up and down, and use your arms to move. And you can go faster, of course. You can start with a little run if you want. Okay, so that warmed you up a little bit. <clears throat> now some of these exercises we can do on the mat. We got the mat, and I will show you the ones that you can do, and you can do them right in bed. So you don't have to worry about falling, hurting yourself. <clears throat> you can do the exercises right in bed. And I would suggest you start with that back circle first, and then go ahead and do the other stuff. You can do that in bed too, that circle. Just sit up on the edge of the bed. You can easily do that as well. So, at any rate, the first problem that we have, the slouch. Yes, the slouch. Now, most of the people that I had in grammar school, it's going back a ways, but uh, they didn't have a trouble slouching. No trouble, because we had the nuns. We had the nuns with the big ruler, and she catches you slouching, you got whacked in the back of the head with a ruler. Just like if you didn't write correctly in the penmanship, the curse of writing, you remember that, you didn't write whack across the back of the head. You never had a problem after that. Never had a problem. Okay. So, at any rate, slouch. Remember, I always start the program with proper position. I don't care if you're standing, sitting, whatever. Proper position is feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, straight back, shoulders down, and back, and looking straight ahead. That's proper position. What is a slouch? A slouch is the top part of your back rolled forward. You may even put your head down, see where you're walking. You know, that slouch tends to get worse if you don't correct it right away. So, you need to get, first of all, what happens when you slouch? You're stretching the stuff in the back, tightening the muscles in the front. So you want to do the opposite, obviously. You want to get the 
muscles in the back stronger, and you want to stretch the front. How do we do that? How do we do it? Well, that's why I brought my trusty band with me. So there's a couple of ways to tighten that up. Number one, just putting that band in the front, putting it right in the front, just like that, and stretch it out. Get those arms all the way back, see? All the way back. Two, three, four, five. Now up with that band, stretch it in the back. Tighten it up. One, two, Three, four, five. So the main thing that what we're doing is getting those muscles stronger in the back and stretching the front. Now there's some exercises you can do that do the same thing. For example, bow and arrow. Out with one arm, other arm pulls the bow. One, two, three, four, five. Other arm out, pull the bow back. One, two, Three, four, five. And then the next one is the row. Put your two feet on that band and out with the legs. Hold that band back, rowing. You're in that rowboat now. Two, three, Four, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now I did ten of those as opposed to five, which I've been usually doing, because that also helps to strengthen the pectorals in the front. Because that's number two. Besides the slouch, you can get saggy breast tissue right up here. Now, that happens in men and women. How do we combat that? By tightening the pectorals. And you do that with the legs out, like we did, and just go out. One, two, three. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and in. Okay, so that's number two, getting those pectorals a lot stronger. Now, you got to do more than 10 repetitions. You, do, you try to work your way up to 20 of them for that particular exercise. Actually, for all of these, if you could go up to 20, it would be better for you. Okay, so let's go on. What are we gonna do for our shoulders now? There's a lot of shoulder issues, but not, of, not all of them are serious, but they're, they're painful, they're painful. And one of the most common ones that people think they have is a rotator cuff problem. Now, there's only four lousy muscles that attach to the rotator cuff. And it's a very simple exercise. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put that band around the back of the chair, just like that. So it's around the back of the chair. And we're gonna put our elbows into the chest, just like that. So. We're gonna bring one arm over. Two, 
three, four, five. Now we're gonna do the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Now what do we do about the other two muscles? That's, those are two muscles you're exercising. Let's do the other two. Elbows in again, elbows in. Straight ahead with the arms. Now you go out. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going with the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that's rotator cuff. But we got a lot of other muscles up there in the shoulder that we gotta be concerned about. Next, the biceps. What do we do for that? Put the band down on the two feet. Palms are gonna face up. And just go up. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one. And now, palms facing each other. That's going to get the brachialis muscle. A lot smaller, but we want to get all the muscles. So, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, Two, one. Now we're gonna put the feet out a little further. Still two feet on that. And you're gonna bring yourself forward. Nice straight back, bring yourself forward. Keep the elbows bent. Raise it in the back. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Another way you can get the triceps, bring the arms forward, palms facing down, bring them back. One, two, Three, four, and five. That's another good triceps um, activity. Okay, now we're going to sit in the middle of the band. Sit right on that band, right in the middle. And we're going to grab the two sides of the band again. And you're going to raise them up. Raise them up. Straight. Now go one. Two. Oh, triceps. Three. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. So that's, those are three different triceps exercises. Now we have other muscles. We got the biceps, brachialis. We got the, uh, the triceps in the back. What about that deltoid? Deltoid. First of all, out to the sides and just go up. One, two, three, four, five, four, Three, two, one. That's the side deltoid. What do we do for the front deltoid? Again, you bend it forward, bend it forward. Now I find that I need to bring that band a little forward too. So we're gonna bend it forward and we gotta hold it. Gotta hold that band there, just like that, okay. 
bend it forward. First, we're going to do that right arm. Get the deltoid now. Bring it back. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what about the front deltoid? Raise it. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we got those uh, deltoids. Now let's work our way, work our way across. What we're going to do now, we're going to keep that band right in there and make an X again. We're going to get some of the muscles on the side. How about the latissimus, the lats? Okay, bring it back. One, keep it low. Two, three, four, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay. Now, we got to also gotta sit on that band again. We got a big muscle on the sides, the quadratus lumborum. Raise that right arm up. Over you go. Hold it. One, two, three. Other side. Raise the left. Over. One, two, three. Right side. One, two, three. Left side. One, two, three. Right side. One, two, three. And left side. One, two, three. And down. Okay. Now I told you that I'm going to show you some things that you can do in the bed. And so uh, it just fits right into this routine. We got to use our stabilizing muscles, the stabilizers, all those muscles around the pelvis, especially the glutes, especially the glutes. But also, we want to get those oblique muscles on the side of the chest, just up in here. So, what are we going to do? We're going to do them on the floor. So let's do that, huh? I'm going to get down on the floor, and we've got two different types. So I'm going to get on the side first, on the side, just like that. Okay. And we're going to push your weight up onto your forearm. Okay. That's very good so far. Now, you're going to tighten up the belly, tighten it up, and relax. Tighten, and relax. Tighten, and relax. Okay, next one we're going to do is a snow angel. Now, you've all done snow angels in the snow. Most of the people that you see on the uh, videos and all, they're all from California or Florida. They have no idea what it is, what a snow angel is. What they do for a snow angel is just go up and down. That's ridiculous. That's not what you do with a snow angel. A snow angel, I'm going to push that chair back a little. Out with the arms. You could put it in a T form at the beginning. And you go down and up. And at the same time that you go down and up, separate your feet. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down, and up. Okay, that's a snow angel. Next one we're going to do is a dead bug. Oh, God, a dead bug. What do you do for a dead bug? Well, first of all, you get your legs out like that, bent knees. Nice and straight, right angles, okay? Arms straight in the air. I guess this is what a dead bug is supposed to look like. Now, what does a dead bug do? 
Well, a leg may go out and an arm up. Just like that. But we are going to do opposite side. So when the right leg goes out, the left arm goes up. Other side. Oh, almost screwed that one up, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five. And now the way that we do it, one, opposite side, right? Two, three, four, five. So that is the dead bug. Now what are we going to do for the glutes? Well, one of the best things for the glutes, well, there's two things, two things that are good. I'll show you the first one here. You're going to put that band right around the legs like that and get on your side. We call this the clamshell because you're going to open the leg up and come down. Open two, and down, three, and down, four, and down, five, and down. <clears throat> now you got to get the other side, obviously, so you scoot over. You do these right in bed. Do them in bed, for God's sakes. They'll wake you up in the morning, you know. Just what you need, clamshells in the morning. Okay, keep the legs, the knees bent. Okay, one, two, three, four, <clears throat> and five. Okay, that's a good exercise for the glutes. What other ones can you do? Well, again, in bed. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Hands flat on the floor. We do. Lift, lift that butt up off the, uh, the bed and down. And up. And down. Up three. And down. Up four. And down. Up five. And down. Now you can make it a little more difficult if that was easy for you. And that is lift it up, we call this a bridge, lifting it up, and one leg out, two, three, four, five, and down with the bridge. One more time, lift that bridge up, other leg, out, one, two, three, four, five, and down with the bridge. Okay, well, let's get up. Those are the things that you can do in bed. They're very, very good exercises, and it will help to stabilize the muscles. Remember, all the muscles, especially those gluteal muscles, are stabilizers for your balance and all. So you need them. They're very important, very important muscles. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today. This is Dr. C, and hopefully you get through this winter unscathed. We'll see you next time.